Hey folks, back again with another video for you. And uh, today's uh, lovely guest is my lovely wife back here, as you can see. And hope she won't mind me uh, doing this picture. It's just a beautiful picture of her in our wedding day. But um, I wanted to do a gear demo and review type thing for a new pick that I've decided to kind of try out. I was uh, in the mood to get a few new things and test those out and a uh, new pick actually caught my eye. It's For me, it's new. It's been around for a year, a couple of years, I guess. And it is the uh, Dunlop Primetone series. Now I'm going to compare it to the ones that I use right now, which is the V-Pick Large Light. It's the clear one. You can hardly see it here on the screen. But it's the V-Pick Large Light. I'm also going to compare it with my faithful blue chip pick. Okay, this is the TP50, I think. Yeah, TP50. And also going to compare it with the Prime Tone. So Prime Tone against these other two. And I'm actually, I was playing around with it earlier and I'm pretty surprised at the tone I'm getting for it. Uh, we'll start with the V pick. So let's do a little bit of strumming and we'll do a little bit of picking and kind of compare the two. So this is the V pick large light. This has a sharp point. I've kind of worn them down a little bit. Maybe at the end of this video, we'll go over some pros and cons of the, of the different picks that uh, I'm experimenting and testing right now. Okay, a little bit of picking. That's the V-Pick. Let's try the blue chip next. TP50. And a little bit of picking. Let's do it like I did earlier. That's one lick that I came up with in my song, uh, Blue or Shade of Green, years ago. So that is the blue chip TP50. And now for the Dunlop Prime Tone. This is kind of a, kind of like a, a response to the blue chip. It actually has the same color. It is made of Ultex, if I'm not mistaken. And I just I chose to get the smooth version without the grip. Uh, for one thing, it, the material looked a little less, you know, translucent see-through, which I thought from experience of another pick that they have, the flow pick uh, that Dunlop has. That same kind of material is really brittle and bright, and I use it for my electric guitar, but I wanted to have something more of a kind of a smooth and matte finish that would sound, I think it would sound better for acoustic guitar.
bit of picking. And those are the three picks. Now, let's compare those kind of back to back. I'm not going to speak in between except to name the pick. So once again, we have the prime tone. The blue chip. And the V-Pick Large Lot. Okay, hopefully you can hear the difference there. Let's talk about the differences that I hear. For one thing, when I first started using V-Picks, I was really hesitant to use them because uh, with the material that they're made out of, it just seemed like they would be too bright and brittle. And the first few picks that I used, they were like that. But I kind of grew a little bit more accustomed to them as I played them. And I decided to settle on the V-Pick Large Light. And I've used that for a couple years now at least. And I really like uh, the triangular point to it. I like the fact that it has three picks in one so that one, one dulls. I can flip it over and I've got a brand new one. And I really like that. And it just feels like home here lately uh, since uh, I've been using it for so long. The only thing uh, that I don't really care for about the V-Picks are that they tend to have a chirpy sound as they begin to wear in. As some of those layers of material wear away, they start to chirp a little bit. And really, it's hard to describe until you actually play with one and hear it. It's got that really high pitch chirp to it that's really noticeable uh, when you're playing. And, I, and it, I don't like the feeling of having to worry about if that's gonna come through in a recording or not. Uh, so that's really my only downfall against uh, V-Pix for me is that chirpy sound that, that has to happen. It eventually goes away, but you have that little spot that uh, it just just keeps chirping away and when you're whether you're picking or whether you're playing strumming whatever it's there one thing I was really surprised about in playing these just now is that the v-pick seemed to have like a lower almost like a warmer tone then the other picks uh, for example let's go back to the blue chip and this is probably gonna be a little brighter And it sounds like to me that the prime tone may be a, a little bit of both. It's got a little bit of warmth, but it has a little bit of edge to it, enough to where the picks, I mean, the strings kind of come through. Now, as far as the blue chip pick is concerned, it has a wonderful tone. I really like the tone of it. And it was the standard for many, many years. There's so many pick companies that have come along just like guitar companies martin is no longer you know the top beast in competition you've got with brands like breed love here uh you know larave all these other guitars that have come along callings and more it's and even blue ridge it's really hard for uh to say that martin is the top dog now same thing with picks blue chip for a long time was the top dog and i still believe they're a wonderful pick they're an amazing pick and they have a wonderful tone to them that really cut through in the mix. You don't have to worry about a lot of low end or anything like that. And the more I learn about mixing and engineering, the more I realize you don't want a lot of that low warmth in your guitars. You want them to be able to stand out and, and choosing a pick really makes a difference in that. But the thing about blue chips, they, do, they uh, don't have a tendency to wear away fast. Seems like when I used to use one of these, I went through one in about, I don't know, maybe a little over a year because I had three sides, just like I was mentioning, I like the triangle shape because it gives me three sides to use. When one wears out, I go to the next one, then the next one, then the next one. And I noticed, I notice a lot whenever the, the point starts to wear out, that just small sliver of millimeters or whatever you want to call it, 
I can tell the difference. It feels like my, my picking becomes sloppier because I don't have the distance between the string like I wanted, like I'm used to. I can tell the difference on that. Now I like the size of the, the V-Pick and the blue chip quite a bit. They're about identical. I think the V-Pick may be a little bit, maybe a little bigger. I'm not sure. It looks, looks about the same. The V-Pick large light is a pointy pick. The blue chip is not. It's it's uh, speed beveled, so it already has the bevel there. You don't have to worry about that chirping sound. That's a good advantage of that. However, the blue chip pick, the one that I'm using now, is about 30 bucks for one pick. Now, compared to real tortoise shell i realize that's that's a uh, you know cheap because real tortoise shell can run you like 90 bucks and above i'm not concerned about real tortoise shell i've tried real tortoise shell picks they don't have the tone that everybody claims to be the best tone in the world for me my ears do not hear that uh however blue chip does has have a good tone but i had to realize that I don't want to be paying for $30 picks the rest of my life uh in just a couple of years $30 every year Plus, if I lose the thing, if somebody borrows it and they pocket it, I'm at $30. Okay, so I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to fool with it. Whereas V-Picks are only $4 per pick. What? Can't really beat that. You get $10 for $30. You get about $3, $4 a pick. You almost get about an average of about 10 picks per one blue chip pick with a V-Pick. So that's what I like about the V-Picks v is that uh, they last a pretty good while. And you can get more of them for the price of what you could the blue chip. Now, with the Dunlop that I've noticed here lately, some features about that is the only thing that I, that I really don't care for, this is a 1.5 millimeter, which is, is fine. I think I'd probably go down to a 1 if I ordered these again. I thought these were supposed to be 1.5. They don't feel hardly that thick. I guess it, it's really close. Not a deal breaker at all. For me, I guess they're about the same. v pick and uh, the Prime Tone is about the same, it, it seems to be. It still feels a little thicker. And that may be because the the, uh, the Prime Tone here is, is just bulky. Um, it's bulkier uh, compared to the other two. It's pretty wide. It's, it's, it's got a lot of heft to it. These are kind of like the, the actual Altex picks. Uh, which have a bigger surface area and that kind of is going to take some getting used to if I decide to kind of switch with these um, Being wider as well. It, it puts more of the pick into the string which once you learn how to control your hand That's not a big problem The other cool thing is when I need that extra uh, part of the pick I can actually come in a little bit and we can, and, and that will work. I don't have to worry about if my point gets wore down, I can actually come in a little bit more if I need to. These aren't sharp edges, but they are just like the uh, blue chips. They are speed beveled on the prime tone here. Uh, and the price on these was about $1.25 or $1.60, I think, per pick. For a three pack, it was like five bucks. So I've got three picks for the price almost of one V pick. So I almost tripled uh, the amount of picks that I can buy getting the Prime Tones. And they have a really good sound to me. It has a little bit more of a bright than what the V-Pick has, which was what I was kind of amazed by. But it's a well-rounded bright. It's not too blisteringly sharp to your ears. It has a nice roundness to it. And it's not too dull of a tone to where those lows are going to be boomy and, and woofy in your mix. So I'm looking forward to trying these out and seeing how they do live and seeing how the, um, the material is with wearing, if it wears too much. I will say I think it's kind of odd that this material is Ultex because the actual um, Ultex with the Rhino logo that has that kind of amber look to it doesn't feel the same as this. This has that kind of blue chippy feel. It's got that satin um, kind of, I don't know, really smooth feel like it's polished like you would a, a torch shell pick, you polish those. Uh, but so I just think it's really interesting that uh, this is apparently Ultex, whereas the Ultex picks that I've played before don't feel like this same material. So that's it for today's kind of gear review demo type thing. And I'll be interested to see how these hold up in live shows. We're about to start singing again. The Gilbert family and I are about to start getting some singings and bookings 
and getting busy again. So I'll be curious to see how this works in that environment. And I'll be sure to come back here with the uh, kind of update on that. Uh, please stay tuned on my channel. If you're watching this very recently, then I've got a lot of ideas and a lot of electric guitar themed ideas coming up. I recently uh, purchased a new guitar. You've probably already seen it by now. It's the Ibanez RGEW521MZWNTF, which is a mouthful. Please check out that video uh, if you would. Uh, some videos on those. You can search on my YouTube channel for that. I will have links to these picks in the description area. So you should be able to see those if you're interested. I think that's all I have. Just keep up with my channel. I've got a lot more ideas coming along. Like I said, some electric guitar video things. I wanted to do an acoustic thing because I've got so many electric guitar ideas coming lately. And I'll be doing quite a few videos on that, especially since I got my new guitar from Ibanez. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Have a good time. Play a lot of bluegrass. Experiment with these picks. And leave some comments below about what your experiences are with picks and what kind of picks you like. I've left a lot of pick reviews here on the channel, but it's interesting to see how players evolve over the years. So if you used to use one pick and you've decided to switch to another, or if you've stuck with the same pick for years, please leave your thoughts and ideas below. We would love to hear those. So until next time, thank you so much. This has been Eric Beatty signing off. God bless.